streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now this morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm Alexandra Carter. It is Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. Before we jump into weather, please note several school closings and delays this morning. They are scrolling at the bottom of your screen. They're also on our website. Now let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl. Yeah, speaking of those school closings, the roads are really quite messy this morning. Yeah, they really are, and your exact location is key because some of the roads are wet, some are a little slushy in spots, and others could be snow covered in spots. As uh, with these early and late season snowstorms, elevation really comes into play. Now, a live look through City Cam will show uh, downtown Lacrosse. The streets are mainly wet, a little bit of slush on the side. Same with the uh, sidewalks and parking lots. Uh, snow showers continue here in the Lacrosse area, and the snow is kind of blowing sideways with those strong north to northwest winds. Uh, the Almanac showing 36 was the high yesterday, 33 the low. Not much movement on those temperatures. And look at the uh, silver lining here, the beneficial moisture. Six tenths of an inch of liquid. I included what has fallen after midnight as well. Uh, just uh, over an inch of snow, though, out at the La Crosse Airport, but several inches on the surrounding ridge tops and higher terrain, especially east of La Crosse. 54 and 33 are the averages. Sunrise time this morning behind the clouds at 642. Still some winter weather alerts through midday today. Another inch or two of snow possible with those snow showers. The other story today, very windy gusts from the north northwest 30 to 45 miles per hour. Again, watch for slick roads and reduce visibility on that morning commute. Now where you see those darker blues, some moderate snow bands uh, right near and south of La Crosse, stretching through uh, parts of Vernon, Crawford, Richland counties, Alamakee as well. Uh, some breaks in the snow showers upstream, but then more snow showers will kind of pivot in from the north and east as that low remains stalled to our east. Current temperatures in the low to mid 30s. Uh, winds already gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour. That's producing wind chills in the teens and 20s. Windy, cold today, periods of snow showers. Highs in the cross around 37. Uh, much more information coming up in just a few minutes. We will see you then, Bill. Now a lot of election results to get to after yesterday's primary. It was a busy election day yesterday, so let's start with taking a look at some of those results. Two La Crosse County Board of Supervisors seats. Two La Crosse County Board of Supervisors seats were upset in the election. In District 22, incumbent Pam Viner was challenged by Joe Kovacevich. Kovacevich beating Viner by 58 votes. And in District 28, Ron Rothering took on incumbent Leonardo Silva. It was a close race, but Rothering was able to take home the win with 52.4% of votes reporting. And in La Crosse, voters cast their ballots to decide who would get three open school board seats. Originally, only two candidates were running, but in the last few months, seven write in candidates jumped into the race. Votes are still being counted, so there are no official winners quite yet. At last check this morning, La Crosse Beverage brand manager Tim Alberts pulled in close to 30% of the vote. 18 year old Central High School student Adam Manka winning just under 22%. Nearly half the votes went to write-in candidates, but the individual tally is still unknown, so it's impossible at this hour to know who the winners are. Election workers counted the write-in votes, and now the district will make those results official. Those tally sheets are produced to the school district, and at the school district can um, canvas, uh, which is a few days after election day, they will declare the winner. That school board canvas is next Tuesday, April 9th, so La Crosse residents and the candidates will have to wait another week before knowing who will be serving on the board. Over to the Onalaska school board race where the candidates were running a tight race there as well. There were three seats up for grabs and four candidates. Three incumbents and one challenger went head to head. Mark Caselius and Aaron McDonald keeping their seats, winning 27.9% and 25.8% of the votes respectively. Challenge Tracy Loffenberg won 23.5% of the vote, unseating incumbent Tisha Marshik, who received 22.9%. And Chippewa Falls is one of 91 school districts with a referendum on the spring ballot. It's asking voters for a 7.5 million three-year referendum to keep up with expenses. Voters did approve that referendum with 53% voting in favor and 47% voting against. That's millions of dollars, and so I think everyone should uh, vote according to their conscience. Living within your means is one thing that a lot of people have to do. I'm not uh, all that uh, 
educated or informed about uh, Chippewa Falls High School and in the district. So, uh, but uh, I, yeah, I just encourage everyone to vote the conscience on that. The approval means district voters will see a $5 yearly increase on their property taxes for every $100,000 of property value. And voters in Chippewa Falls electing Sharon McKilquam and Stephen Olson to the school board there. Those new members will look to navigate that projected deficit, even with a successful referendum. Voters in Vernon and Crawford counties deciding against a $4.8 million referendum to maintain staff and programs for the DeSoto Area School District. Voters were likely wary of the cost of the proposal, which would have meant a $225 yearly increase for every $100,000 of property value. In the district school board election, three seats were up for grabs. Mark Stevermer and Ryan Venner ran unopposed for two of those seats and secured their positions on the board. The DeSoto referendum comes on the heels of a difficult year for the district, not only financially, but also internally. Earlier this year, you may remember, many parents were upset after the school board voted not to renew Stoddard Elementary Principal Derek Fulsang's contract. Voters we spoke with had mixed reactions about both the referendum and the personnel issues within the district. Frank Vogel, a Stoddard resident we met, says he only learned about the referendum on Monday. We need to revamped the whole thing because there was some shady dealings and I just I don't trust the way things were handled with the school board. With voters rejecting that referendum, the district will now have to decide what programs to cut and whether to replace staff or not. Another major school district referendum took place in Sparta. This year, the district asking for a $1.5 million referendum over two years for maintenance, safety, and staffing. Voters did approve that measure, with 57% voting yes and 43% voting no. Now, even with the successful referendum, the school district will still need to make budget cuts in the next year. The district is also considering an $87 million capital referendum in the future. Political analysts say these kind of school races will drive pockets of communities to the polls, but the main driver of voter turnout is, of course, the presidential primary. But this year is different. Both Joe Biden and Donald Trump have already secured enough delegates from previous primaries to win party nominations, so there's no mystery as to who's running for president this fall. Republican voters in the state supporting Trump with 79% of the vote. The Democratic field has settled on four more years of President Biden. Now, there is a small contingency of pro-Palestine voters who urged people to vote uninstructed. You see that second line on your screen right there. Those voters don't approve of how Biden has handled the war in Gaza, and they want to send a message to the president. Last night, 8% voted uninstructed, adding up to about 47,000 votes. Movements like that could be significant because Wisconsin is a swing state and was decided by about 20,000 votes last presidential election. Political analysts say both Trump and Biden will need to work hard to keep Wisconsin voters engaged over the next seven months. That's why the president has made two stops in Wisconsin already this year, and Trump was in Green Bay yesterday for his first state visit in two years. During his speech, Trump repeated false claims that he won the Badger State in 2020, which are unfounded. Trump also focused on immigration, criticizing how the Biden administration has handled the southern border. No country can sustain what's happening. We are being invaded. Think of it, the legions and legions of Biden migrants pouring into the, it's really becoming a third world country. We are actually becoming, if you think about it, a third world country. Both candidates are leaning into major national talking points in campaign messaging. The Biden campaign focused on abortion, launching a new ad one day after Florida's Supreme Court cleared the way for a six-week abortion ban. Donald Trump doesn't trust women. I do. Biden has vowed to restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land in America. And La Crosse County electing a circuit court judge for a full six-year term, Mark Huseman, beating Candace Tillistoch by several thousand votes. Governor Evers appointed Huseman last summer to finish out Todd Bjerke's term. He was Bjerke's court commissioner for 16 years. Huseman says he's proud of running a clean campaign. I also ran a very positive campaign, and I think that resonated with the public. It gets a little troubling when we have outside dark money that comes into a local nonpartisan judicial race and let's hope that this just isn't a, a, a new trend because it's it's troubling. Huseman
Huseman is referring to a right wing mailer supporting Tillistuch that depicted Huseman as the devil. While she did not specifically condemn that mailer, she did say she doesn't approve of negative ads. And after her defeat, Tillistuch posting on her campaign Facebook page. This is a tough loss, but I don't regret a thing. I am proud to have given people a choice, and I'm glad to be part of a system that respects that choice. I wish Judge Huseman the best. I'm sure he'll serve La Crosse County well. Wisconsin voters also had two questions on their ballots that would change the state's constitution. Both deal with administering elections. The first is whether to ban private donations to pay for election work. That issue stems from Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg's $350 million donation to a Chicago nonprofit in 2020, some of which was shared with Wisconsin towns to cover election expenses. Republican leaders are urging voters to vote yes to keep such funds out of state elections, and currently 54% percent did vote yes, while 46 percent voted no. The second question asked, should only election officials designated by law be allowed to perform election related tasks? Right now we have 59 percent voting yes and 41 percent voting no to that amendment. It would essentially confirm what is already law in the state. Election officials are already vetted because they're nominated by both major parties and approved by municipality officials. Now to Eau Claire as council member district two election incumbent Emily Anderson successfully beating out her challenger Brian Trowbridge Anderson won with 65% of the vote. And in Eau Claire's council member election for District 5, Mary Partlow took on incumbent Andrew Worthman. Worthman rewon his district with 70% of the vote. Eau Claire school board election, four candidates running for just two open seats. Incumbents Joshua Clements and Erica Zur holding their own against challengers Heidi Herrings and Kathleen Kivlin. Clements and Zur will keep their seats with 30% and 29% of votes respectively. The time now is 6:11. Still to come on your morning news, a new report is blaming Microsoft for a Chinese hack that compromised thousands of government email accounts. We'll take a closer look coming up. And if you've ever had to toss out an old cell phone, you probably know it isn't always easy to find a responsible way to get rid of it. We'll have some green tips for getting rid of e-waste and a special look at all things tech in today's consumer news. The bargain shop. When you want new furniture with styles that are nice, and we've made very special buys that are always the right price. Now in all home furniture stores. Gotta make stop at the bargain shop. We're an implant focused practice. I think the advantage of a father daughter practice is, you know, I've been at this for 30 years now. I learned things that worked well and things that didn't work so well. And it was fun to be able to just jump in and kind of compliment that. I feel like it made both of us stronger. You don't expect it when you walk into a dental office. You don't expect the family aspect, but when you walk into our doors, we're going to give you that. If you think you have a full mouth of challenges, come see us. Come down for a free consultation. been hard to adjust with everything going on. Didn't know how to air your grievances. Maybe things got too heated. Or the cost of running was too high. All right, I did it, okay? I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I need an expert. I've heard all I needed to. Great job, Brooke. Read him his rights. You have the right to a great company with over 50 years of combined experience. That's just a matter of conditioning. G&T, closing the case on all your heating and air conditioning needs. With tax return season upon us, shop and order now. Drive in and shop Wisconsin's best furniture store. Choose from our huge selection of sofas, sectionals, and recliners. Get one for Mama or Papa Bear. Awesome discounts on power reclining furniture with adjustable headrest, zero gravity, or lift. If your bed is getting tired, try out our hybrid, all foam, and double-sided mattresses with adjustable bases and frames available. Choose from our new and closed out dressers, chests, and nightstands to match. Celebrating 30 years of community and business. Black River Furniture Outlet, Black River Falls. Find happiness. Find something familiar and new. Find connection. Find culture. Find community. Find yourself at the Lacrosse Symphony. Join the Lacrosse Symphony Orchestra for the Ultimate Movie Night, Saturday, April 6th, sponsored by ISG. Get your tickets now at lacrossesymphony.org. My doctor says I need an MRI. But where do I go? They're so expensive. 
Sensible MRI it costs a few hundred, not thousands. You could fill your fridge for a year with what you save. We can get you in the next day. Think of what you could do with the time you'd save. What do you have to lose? At Sensible MRI, you choose the time you save the money. And you rest easy having your doctor refer you to Sensible MRI. When you want a great deal on mattresses, gotta make stop at the bargain shop. How about this Fusion Lux Hybrid Queen mattress for $5.99? Gotta make a stop at the bargain shop. In all home furniture stores. Welcome back. A good Wednesday morning to 615. Again, keep it here for any school announcements. Also, you can check our website or our weather app that will have school announcements as well. Here's your school cast for this Wednesday, April 3rd, but it's not feeling like April 3rd. It's not looking like it either uh, with the clouds, the wind, the chilly temperatures in the 30s and the periodic snow showers as well. And uh, dog walking forecast, much the same. Red paws again today due to the wind, the cold, and the snow showers. Miss Winnie, I think a lot of us are doing what you're doing, uh, hoping just to stay in bed for a little bit longer <laughs> when you look out the window. Uh, eventually, hoping to walk with Cass, maybe uh, on Friday or Saturday, looking like a couple of good days for that. Look at city cam shaking. Uh, the winds have really ramped up from the north and northwest. Streets are mainly wet here in downtown La Crosse. A little bit of slush, though, especially on the sides of the streets, some of the parking lots and sidewalks. So uh, watch for slick spots for that morning commute. Watch your step on the sidewalks and in the parking lots as well. Alert day continues with periods of snow showers, a strong north to northwest winds gusting 30 to 45 miles per hour. A uh, little light at the end of the tunnel, some 50s uh, by Saturday, maybe even around 50 for a high on Friday. Still some winter weather alerts in play through midday today. Uh, could see another inch or two of snow in these bands of snow showers. Again, very windy north to northwest winds gusting uh, 30 to 45 miles per hour and watch for those slick roads and reduced visibility for that morning commute. Now we see those darker blues, some moderate snow bands, uh, one just to the south of La Crosse and back into uh, the Wisconsin River Valley. Otherwise, uh, the snow showers a little bit more periodic and scattered upstream, but uh, this low is kind of stalled over Lake Michigan continues to kind of send moisture back towards us from the north and east in that form of periodic snow showers. Current temperatures low to mid 30s, winds gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour, pushing wind chills into the upper teens and 20s. Cloudy, windy and cold today with periods of snow showers, highs in La Crosse only around 37. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast coming up in about three minutes. In your consumer news this morning, a special look at all things technology, starting with Microsoft committing a cascade of avoidable errors that allowed Chinese hackers to breach the tech giant's network. That's according to a new report. The U.S. Cyber Safety Review Board report says the hack was preventable and should not have happened. The panel faults Microsoft for not adequately protecting a sensitive cryptographic key. The report says that allowed the hackers to remotely sign in to their target's Outlook accounts by forging credentials. The the hackers then downloaded about 60,000 emails from the State Department alone. The Food and Drug Administration is signing off on a first prescription digital treatment for depression. It's a smartphone app for people who get a diagnosis of major depressive disorder. Rejoin will be by prescription only and won't treat depression on its own, but rather is to be used in conjunction with medications. The six week program may stimulate the areas of the brain thought to be responsible for antidepressant effects. It'll consist of a series of brain training exercises. More research is needed though, and these findings are just preliminary. From defunct cell phones to busted TVs, the amount of electronic waste we create goes well beyond what recycling centers can handle. E-waste is a hazard to both the environment and human health. Michael Yoshida has some helpful tips you can use on how to safely dispose of old phones, tablets, and other gadgets. From e-cigarettes to broken appliances and old cell phones, global electronic waste or e-waste has reached record highs. Some 68.3 million tons in 2022 alone, according to a recent United Nations report. This equivalent to the weight of over 100,000 of the world's largest passenger aircraft. If you put them together, that's enough to form an unbroken queue from New York to Athens, 5,000 miles. As the world becomes more reliant on electronics, the recycling of gadgets and appliances is not keeping pace, something experts are hoping will change with more awareness. Better managing e-waste 
means better health. Health for the planet, but also health for ourselves, because a lot of the components in e-waste can be very toxic to humans. Along with environmental and health reasons to recycle, there's a big money incentive too. E-waste often contains rare earth metals. If we had been able to reuse and collect all what is in e-waste, we could have generated over 91 billion US dollar in value just in 2022. So how can you safely recycle your e-waste or give it a second life? Experts say if the gadget is old but still working, see if a friend or a family member wants it. Another option, see if you can trade it in for a new device or credit. And if you do choose to get rid of your item, make sure it goes to a certified recycler. Some useful advice there for sure to help address a growing concern. That wraps up your morning consumer news. The time now is 620. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl and get a look at our forecast. You are a busy man today, Bill. Busy indeed. And uh, boy, beautiful start to the month of April, right? <laughs> uh, but hey, the silver lining, we need the moisture, and we are seeing plenty of it uh, so far this month of April. Here's kind of a storm summary to this point. Uh, most snow reports, and this has been a heavy, wet, compacted snow, so even though it's been snowing a lot, uh, it's not really accumulating in the lower elevations. Uh, most snow reports, in fact, in the one to four inch range. Now, a few reports across the higher terrain and some of the ridge tops of five to eight inches plus. Again, that's key. Elevation comes into play in these early and late season snowstorms. Might see another inch or two in some spots today with the uh, periodic snow showers. And look at this, 0.91 inches of liquid so far out at the La Crosse Airport uh, this month of April. So that's just uh, two days plus uh, part of our Wednesday today as well. Now still some winter weather alerts, winter weather advisory for most. Uh, that winter storm warning just where they saw some higher totals across the higher terrain. Uh, but another inch or two of snow possible for some. Very windy today, gusts of 30 to 45 miles per hour. Watch for slick roads, reduce visibility with that snow blowing around as it falls from the sky for that morning commute. Now the good news about the heavy wet snow that should minimize the blowing snow the, of the snow already on the ground, but a wind advisory for all areas until 10 o'clock tonight, north to northwest winds 15 to 30 gusting to 45 miles per hour. Now with the areas that saw some heavier snow and if it's on the trees, there could be some tree branch damage, maybe some power outages are flickering because of that. So if you can uh, go out and shake those trees, be safe doing so. Uh, reduce visibility, of course, with the snow falling from the sky and the winds blowing it around and impacts to high profile vehicles today as well. Here's how it looks in downtown La Crosse. Streets are mainly wet, some slush on the sides, same with the parking lots and sidewalks. So watch your step, watch for slick spots. 34 degrees at the airport and downtown. Winds gusting to 31, pushing our wind chill down to 23. 36 in Eau Claire, you have not seen as much moisture as the rest of us. Winds gusting at 25, making it feel like 27. Now current temperatures, generally in the lower to middle 30s across the region. But again, the winds, a big story today, sustained at 15 to 25, gusting 30 to 40, and that's pushing wind chills into the upper teens to middle 20s in many locations. Now, still some darker blues indicating some moderate snow bands, uh, kind of just south of La Crosse down the Mississippi River Valley towards uh, Dodgeville and Madison. And then upstream, uh, the snow shower is a little bit more sporadic. Another little batch of snow coming across Green Bay as that low continues to sit stalled over Lake Michigan and that continues to push kind of snow showers back across the region periodically this afternoon, even into tonight as well. Sky Tracker will show that, but notice how the snow showers become a little bit more sporadic and uh, hit and miss as we head into late today and especially tonight. Tomorrow we hang on to the cloud cover, maybe even some isolated uh, sprinkles or flurries as we head into the afternoon, primarily east, and then finally some partial clearing heading into our Friday. Zone forecast showing another chilly day with temperatures not really moving much uh, between about 33 and 40 degrees across the region. The best chance of hitting 40 will be far north and west where the impacts of the storm are a little bit less. So my forecast for today, windy, cold periods of snow showers, 37 for the high. Watch those roads. 32 tonight, still windy with a chance of snow showers. Tomorrow, not quite as cold. Some flurries or sprinkles and still kind of breezy. 44. 50 on Friday, 54 on Saturday. Little hiccup on Sunday. 49 with a chance of showers. Milder to start next week. 60 on Monday. Low 60s on Tuesday and Wednesday with some low-end rain chances. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. A little better chance, uh, better chance for some rain showers on Wednesday. That's the latest check of my eight-day forecast. Here's what's coming up in sports. Brewers looking for their fourth straight win to start the season. Bucks looking to close out their road trip on the right note. Plus, GET's Cody Schmitz 
is headed to the next level? Find out where coming up on The Blitz. Stock up this month with the Holman Locker and Meat Market's 10-pound sale. Save on pork loin roast, ground beef, chicken breast, and chuck roast. Please call to order. Holman Locker and Meat Market and much, much more. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to work in the yard, tackle a project, or enjoy family time, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $10 gift card with $100 spent on a state lawn fertilizer, like a state weed and feed, $34.99. Bags of miracle Grow potting mix, just $14.99. And all men's and women's Carhartt pocket tees, two for 30 bucks. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. They say that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Well, they are correct. Enjoy one of our tasty bagel sandwiches paired with a caramel frappe. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. It's big, really big. It's the Weekend Furniture Blowout at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. This weekend, for four big days, we've slashed prices on hundreds of items store-wide. Sofas, sectionals, and recliners from Flexsteel, Decor Rust, and Smith Brothers. Bedrooms and dining rooms from Daniel's Amish and Canadell. Plus the area's finest selection of leather from Stressless and Lazy Boy. You'd better hurry. You won't see furniture of this quality at these prices again. The Weekend Furniture Blowout. It's this weekend only at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. Luther High School, a powerhouse in culture and academics. Our students are given the tools for high school academic success while also enjoying athletics, choir, and band. Our on-site industrial arts program provides advanced welding and advanced woodworking programs along with Industry 4.0 classes. Luther High School is a Wisconsin parental choice school. All families who apply to Luther receive tuition grants. Your Luther High School, Christ-centered education, encouraging and preparing students for life. For more information, go to lutherhigh.org or find us on Facebook at We Love Luther. Holman Locker and Meat Market, your place for fresh, quality, local meat. Now's the time to stock up with our spring freezer filler bundle. It's full of chicken, beef, pork, and shrimp. Call to order yours today. Holman Locker and Meat Market and much, much more. We have people, you know, in their 70s in our classes right now. Friday on News Now This Morning, we take an up-close look at the Mellow Martial Arts class and find out why it's more than just self-defense. You're not too old to do what you love. Home furniture. There's no place like home. Welcome to the Blitz. GET's Cody Schmitz made the absolute most of his high school career. Now the three-time Cooley Conference Player of the Year is closing one chapter while starting a brand new one. The leader of the Red Hawks making the announcement official yesterday in the library at GET High. Friends, family, coaches all on hand as Schmitz officially commits to Northern Michigan University. The senior will head to Marquette, Michigan to play for the Wildcats. What a legacy he leaves behind in Galesville. Over 2,600 points in his high school career. Schmitz averaging just over 30 points a game in his final season as he led GET to the sectional finals in Division III. But now the focus shifts to the next level and Schmitz says he's more than ready for the challenge. I'm a big competitor. I just want to play games. I just want to have fun. And you know, I'm ready for this next level of ball. Um, I had a lot of fun in high school, so I know I have a lot of fun in college. I know it's going to be a hard step. I know it's going to be a lot tougher competition, but um, I'm going to be confident as, as ever. I'm going to come in, and, and I know my stuff works, so I'm, I'm, going to, I'm going to work hard, and hopefully I can back it up on the court. Now, Schmidt's high school career isn't quite over just yet. The senior will also be on the track this spring for his final year as a Red Hawk. Brewers looking to stay perfect on the season. They were hosting the Twins in their home opener. The rookie gets the crew on the board. Jackson Churio makes it 1-0 Milwaukee. And then in the third, stay hot. Christian Yelich, Yelly, crushes one a deep center for a solo shot. His second homer of the season, it's 2-0 Brewers. Later in the inning, two on for Bryce Terang. He's going to shoot one the other way. That gets down for a base hit. Brewers tack on another and take a 3-0 lead. Minnesota would cut it to one, but in the eighth, the Brewers flashing some leather. Oliver Dunn laying out for the grab. Nice play there. Then in the ninth, Abner Uribe on for the save. Tying run at first, but some more great D from the crew. Big time double play. Brewers make it four straight. They get the win in their home opener, three to two. Bucks wrapping up their road trip last night in the nation's capital, taking on the Wizards. Second quarter, Chris Middleton 
puts it in plus one. We're tied. Other end, Washington on the run. Corey Kispert connects from three. Wizards back on top in the third. Home team rolling. Jordan Poole flips it home. 14 point lead for Washington. Bucks battle back though. Jay Crowder, corner three is money. That cuts it back to just five. Fourth quarter now. Wizards pulling away again. Hoop plus the harm. Tough shot falls. Home team back up a dozen. Bucks not done yet though. Less than eight to play. Giannis spinning and winning for two of his game high 35. But in the end, it's not enough. Wizards pulling away for good. Another three ball from Kispert. Bucks drop two out of three on their road trip as they fall 117 to 113. Wolves had their four game winning streak snapped the other night. Minnesota looking to start a new one at home against Houston. Nas Reed having himself a night. We're tied at 43. Then later in the half, off the miss, Wolves get the rebound. Reed, right place, right time. Minnesota goes up seven. Third quarter now, Reed staying red hot. This time from downtown, a team high 25 points on the night. Wolves up nine. Rockets respond though, on the break, Cam Whitmore is gonna throw it down. That cuts it to just three. Then with less than two minutes to play, Fred Van Bleet knocks down the triple. It's a one point game, but that's when Anthony Edwards takes over. We have liftoff. Ant with the two hand jam puts the Wolves up five. And here comes the dagger. Wolves get back in the win column, 113 to 106. That's gonna do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. Come into comfort during the International Furniture Fjords sales event. Get $200 off all Fjords chairs in stock and special orders. The Tri-State's largest Fjord showroom is at International Furniture La Crosse. Join today's shoppers as they explore Sweet Valley Artisans. There's so many good things here. How do you pick just one? You don't. I've been looking for something to hang in my garage. What about this? Or this? Vintage clothing and accessories? Let's check it out. Have you found anything yet? Um, yeah? I'm getting hungry just looking at this. I know what you mean. Stop in and find your treasure today. Hey, Dominic here, and I want to show you two easy recipes using our chicken please me. For a slow cooker turkey breast, lightly coat a three to four pound turkey breast with chicken pleasing. Melt a stick of butter and slowly pour it over the turkey breast while in the slow cooker. Cover and cook on high for three hours. For a delicious pork tenderloin, lightly coat it with chicken pleasing, set the smoker or oven to 225 and cook for an hour and a half. Get your 37 blends at the Pleasing Outlet store on Ward Avenue, La Crosse. Chicken pleasing, not just for chicken. Where there's a flooded basement, there's a solution. Where there are wet spots or musty smells, there's an answer. Where wood damage or dry rot is stealing home value, there's an expert. American Waterworks. For wet basements, wood damage, and effects of dry rot, American Waterworks professional crack repair, waterproofing, sump pumps, and vapor barriers provide long-lasting solutions to tough problems. Wherever moisture problems surface, there's an answer. American Waterworks. Schedule your free inspection and estimate today. No matter your level of comfort with technology, our secure website allows for worry-free transactions. Whether at your computer or in the palm of your hand, our mobile app lets you manage your account on the go. For over 120 years, Union State Bank has provided our customers and community with quality financial services. We're here for you and welcome you to bank with us. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Are you or a loved one having troubles getting in and out of the bathtub safely? Has the high cost of remodeling left you without options? I'm Tim with Tri-State Tub to Shower Conversions and I've been serving the Tri-State area since 1992. And I would love to make your bathing experience safe and affordable. We use your existing tub and remove the front section for easy accessibility. And for an affordable cost, call today. Come into comfort during the International Furniture Fjords sales event. Get $200 off all Fjords chairs in stock and special orders. The Tri-State's largest Fjord showroom is at International Furniture La Crosse. Celebrating 70 years, we're News 8 Now. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. 
Welcome back. Israel still under criticism for its unintentional airstrike on aid workers and the Tropicana in Las Vegas has closed its doors for good. Carissa Lawson shares some of today's top stories. A powerful earthquake shook Taiwan early Wednesday. Buildings collapsed in a southern city and a tsunami washed ashore on southern Japanese islands. Train service was temporarily suspended across Taiwan, which is home to 23 million people. Shortly after the earthquake, many continued their morning commute. Israel is coming under sharp criticism from its closest allies after seven aid workers were killed by airstrikes in Gaza. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel deeply regrets the strikes. The IDF issued an apology saying a misidentification led to the attack on the aid convoy. President Biden said, quote, Israel has not done enough to protect aid workers trying to deliver desperately needed help to civilians. In Las Vegas, the Tropicana permanently closed its doors after welcoming guests and gamblers since 1957. In its heyday, the hotel and casino was a hangout for the likes of Elizabeth Taylor, Debbie Reynolds, Frank Sinatra, and Sammy Davis Jr. The Tropicana will be imploded this fall to make way for a new Major League Baseball stadium. Those were some of the day's top national headlines. Turning now to our local headlines. This week is UWL's 8th Annual Social Justice Week. There are multiple events throughout the next couple of days, ending Thursday. This year's theme is Building Belonging Identities Shaping Communities. UWL professors and staff will showcase their research pertaining to the theme. The week will feature different diversity and inclusion events and keynote speakers. If you'd like to participate in Social Justice Week, we have some information for you on our digital platform. Six community members were honored at the La Crosse Area Family Wise annual meeting Tuesday morning. The meeting, a chance for Y leaders to recognize and honor their volunteers, staff and partners, and look back at the organization's success in the year prior. The La Crosse Area Family Y is made of four different locations in La Crosse, on Alaska, and Viroqua. In 2023, the Y served more than 33,000 members. You may have seen teal ribbons tied around trees in different areas of La Crosse. That's because April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. Mayor Mitch Reynolds held his annual proclamation at the New Horizons Shelter and Outreach Centers, acknowledging the realities of sexual violence in our community. He said people who experience systemic oppression like racism, sexism, and classism are more likely to be sexually harassed. Reynolds calling on individuals and organizations to use their collective voice to prevent sexual abuse by building equity in our community. The winners have been announced for this year's Best of La Crosse County Awards. In the automotive category, Cordell's Automotive Service and Tire is the winner for Best Auto Repair. Arden's Used Car Sales and Service came in second, and Luke's Auto Repair LLC is the runner-up. For Best Motorcycle Dealer, Great River Harley-Davidson took home first prize. Second place goes to Rod's Ride on Power Sports, and the runner-up is Two Brothers Power Sports. And finally, Craig's Towing and Repair is first place in Best Towing Company. Don's Towing and Repair in second place, and Paul's Towing Holman is the runner-up. For a complete list of winners in every category, head to bestoflacrossecounty.com. The time now is 637. Let's check back in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl to tell us what to expect on our morning commute. Hi, Bill. Hi, Alexandra. For sure, allow some extra time and your exact location and where you have to travel will be key because uh, some of the lower elevations, not a lot of snow. The roads are mainly wet, a little bit of slush. Some of the higher terrain, more snow, and some of those roads could be snow covered or slushy in spots. Now here in downtown La Crosse, roads are mainly wet, a little bit of slush on the sides, also on the sidewalks and parking lots as well. Here's a live look on Interstate 90 out in Alaska. Uh, roads are mainly wet, but again, in between the lanes and along the shoulders, a little bit of slush and snow, so watch for slick spots. Uh, allow some extra time for sure. Drive cast for this Wednesday. I have poor road conditions through the morning hours, and uh, that's because uh, we'll continue to see some additional snow showers. And again, there could be some slick spots on many of the roadways. Visibility being reduced by the snow that continues to fall in spots and also being blown around by the wind as it falls. Visibility at two miles or less in La Crosse and points south and east. Still some winter weather headlines through midday. Might see another inch or two of snow accumulate today in spots. Very windy with gusts 30 to 45 miles per hour. And again, that's what's causing reduced visibility and slick roads still a concern. Where you see those darker blues, some moderate snow bands, primarily south and east of La Crosse. Otherwise, uh, the snow shower is a little bit more sporadic, but still some 
more moisture over towards Green Bay that will continue to pivot back towards the area from the north and east. Current temps in the low to mid 30s, winds gusting 20 to 30, even 40 miles per hour, and that's pushing wind chills into the teens and 20s. And we will see uh, fairly steady temperatures today in the 30s, right around 37 for a high in La Crosse. I will have the rest of my eight day forecast on the other side of the break. Also coming up is our buzz report. At Ashley Springs Semi Annual Sale, you can spring into savings with Hot Buy $7.99 and under. Plus, shop our Spring Sofa Sale with 0% interest until April 2029 on in store purchases. Hurry in and meet the all new Ashley today. Now at Menards, get an 11% rebate on all of your automotive needs. Valvoline High Mileage Motor Oil is a synthetic blend for vehicles with 75,000 miles or more. Pick up a 5-quart jug for $18.99 after rebate. Get superior engine protection with Valvoline Advanced Full Synthetic Motor Oil. It helps maintain fuel efficiency and provides advanced protection from wear, friction, heat, and deposits. Get a 5-quart jug for $22.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. To everyone who enjoys a feel-good meal, we're crafting one for you, Wisconsin style. We're talking handcrafted, cooked to order. Scoop to perfection goodness. More like greatness. <laughs> a snuggle up in the booth, share a bite kind of meal. A fill you up, heart and soul kind of meal. Come treat someone you love to a meal they're sure to love. One always serve with a smile. That comes from the heart. From Wisconsin with love. Welcome to People of another age, yep. Howdy doody time, the Ed Sullivan Show, the Mickey Mouse Club. You remember, getting in and out of that tub just isn't quite as easy as it once was. We make life easier for older folks like me. New walk-in shower, a personal shower, a seat if you like. Seriously, be safe. Call the board store. Let us make your bathroom safe and beautiful. Contact the board store today. When we at Riverbank made our new youth savings account, we wanted to learn more about how kids thought about money. So we went right to the source. Our first question was, how much money do your parents spend in a year? $16. Okay. 25 More than $100. $105. $3,000. Riverbank, local banking made simple. A1 Vacuum Sales and Service has been part of the La Crosse area for 75 years. And so we thank you for that opportunity and for supporting the area's largest vacuum store for all these years. Our mission is to provide great service and offer quality products that stand the test of time. And we will continue to be part of this wonderful area we call home. Leave a legacy that isn't plastic in a landfill and support the store that supports you. Thank you for your business. A1 Vacuum. Our business is picking up. Meet the all-new Ashley. Discover new styles in remodeled stores, offering everything you need to create inspired spaces. From our store to your door, the new Ashley. It's the love of home. Welcome back. A good Wednesday morning to you. It is 642. Here's a little storm summary so far. Now, most snow reports have ranged from one to four inches, including uh, about an inch to an inch and a half in the immediate La Crosse area. Now, there have been some reports of five to eight inches plus across some of the higher terrain and the ridge tops, uh, especially east of the Mississippi River. Could see another inch or two of snow in spots today. And here's the silver lining. The good news in all of this cruddy weather <laughs> to start the month of April. 0.91 inches of liquid uh, out at the La Crosse Airport so far in just uh, about two plus days. So some much needed moisture for the region. All right, still some winter weather alerts through midday. Winter weather advisory for most. Uh, just that winter storm warning because they've seen some of the higher totals across the higher terrain in some of those counties. But again, another inch or two of snow possible today for uh, some spots. Very windy as well, gusting 30 to 45 miles per hour. Watch for slick roads this morning and reduce visibility. Not necessarily because of blowing snow on the ground, but because of snow that's falling being blown around. Now a wind advisory in play for all areas until 10 o'clock this evening, 15 to 30 miles per hour from the north northwest gusting to 45. Again, that snow is so heavy and wet, it's not going to blow around a lot once it's already on the ground, but it's blowing around as it falls. 
Now with some heavier snow on the ridge tops and higher terrain, if you can shake the trees, do that because that could cause some tree branch damage, some power flickering or outages because of those strong winds. And again, reduce visibility and high impacts to high profile vehicles in the stronger winds as well. So city cam kind of shaking right now. Downtown La Crosse, the streets are mainly wet. A little bit of slush and snow on the sides and some of the side streets, or I should say sidewalks and parking lots. So watch for slick spots. 34 degrees out at the airport and downtown. Light snow continues to fall. Winds gusting to 26, making it feel like 23. Eau Claire, 36 degrees with a cloudy sky. Gusty winds at 25, making it feel like 27. So temperatures are chilly once again, generally in the lower to middle 30s. Winds are sustained at 15 to 30, gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour in some spots, especially over the open areas of southeastern Minnesota, northeastern Iowa, pushing wind chills into the teens there. Uh, the rest of us have wind chills in the 20s. So still some moderate snow bands where you see those darker blues especially south and east of La Crosse. Otherwise, the snow shower is a little bit more sporadic, but that low remains stalled here, and it continues to throw moisture back across the Badger State as it continues to just sit and spin over Lake Michigan. So windy today with those periodic snow showers. Sky Tracker showing that through lunchtime, and then a little bit more sporadic and hit and miss as the uh, snow showers uh, become as we head into tonight. Tomorrow, still some lingering cloud cover, maybe some uh, flurries or sprinkles, especially in eastern parts of the Viewing area. And then finally, some partial clearing as we head into uh, tomorrow night and our Friday. Zone forecast showing temperatures not moving much again today, very similar to yesterday. Most spots in the 30s, uh, maybe some upper 30s to near 40, far north and west where the storm impacts will be a little bit less. So my forecast for today, windy, cold periods of snow showers, 37 for the high. Tonight, still windy, chance of uh, kind of hit and miss snow showers, lows around freezing. Tomorrow, not quite as cold, 44, some flurries or sprinkles and still kind of breezy. Back around 50 on Friday, 54 on Saturday, a little hiccup on Sunday, cooler with a chance of showers, 49, but milder heading into next week. Some uh, 60 degree readings Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, small chance of showers Monday and Tuesday, a little bit better chance for some rain around the middle of next week. That's the latest check of my uh, busy eight day forecast. Now here's Alexandra with our buzz report. In our morning buzz report, Taylor Swift is now in rarefied air. Her record-breaking Eras tour has propelled her to billionaire status. She's officially made the Forbes billionaires list that ranks people around the world with the most money. Swift is estimated to be worth $1.1 billion. While there are other entertainers on the Forbes list, Swift is said to be the first to get there solely through music. Former Jackass star Steve-O is sharing what kept him from joining Bill Maher's podcast. And it all boils down to his sobriety. Steve-O has been sober for almost 16 years now, and he says it's important to keep that streak going. When Maher asked him to join his Club Random podcast, Steve-O says he asked Maher to lay off smoking pot, but Maher refused. Steve-O says that was a deal breaker for him. Steve-O talked about the conflict on a recent episode of his own podcast, Wild Ride. And you, miss, are no lady. Gone with the Wind is back in theaters for its 85th anniversary. The Oscar-winning four-hour epic starring Vivian Lee and Clark Gable returns to the big screen for three nights only. Sunday, April 7th, Monday, April 8th, and Wednesday, April 10th. You can check FathomEvents.com for locations and showtimes. And before we head to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's Eight. Starting with Vivian, she is decked out in a, such a cute outfit. She's turning eight months today. She loves swimming, snuggling with her family, and chasing the dog. Harrison is turning eight today. He loves wrestling, looking at maps, and learning all there is to know about history. And Harley is turning 88 today. You can see him right here with his wife. This grandpa and great grandpa loves to visit with his family and go for car drives. Happy birthday to all of them. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com, and look for the Submit Pictures button right there on the Home tab. The time now is 648. Stay with us. We have everything you need to know, including election results, coming up in, right after the break. Come into Comfort during the International Furniture Fjords Sales Event. Get $200 off all Fjords chairs in stock and special orders. The Tri-State's largest Fjords showroom is at International Furniture Lacrosse. 
At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. Whether you're ready to work in the yard, tackle a project, or enjoy family time, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, Rewards members get a free $10 gift card with $100 spent on a state lawn fertilizer, like a state crabgrass preventer, $32.99. 20% off select Fiskar's garden and hand tools and 35-pound bags of Blaine's Golden Harvest bird food, just $12.99. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Let River City Grill in Winona, Minnesota be your new go-to dinner destination. We provide exceptional service no matter the occasion. From date nights to family outings with the kids, we have something for everybody at the table. Enjoy one of our 23 tap beers and pair it with a burger and fries during our happy hour from 2 to 6 p.m. Or for a fine dining experience, try our salmon and steak entrees paired with our amazing signature cocktails. River City Grill, located in Winona, Minnesota. Call or book an online reservation today. Pilgrims is growing, and we want you to be part of a successful, stable, and safe company. We're offering higher wages and more pay incentives than ever before. Stop into our recruitment office any day to apply, or walk in on Wednesdays for an immediate interview. Help us feed the world while we provide you a safe work environment, stable and essential employment, and steady pay. Apply at pilgrims.com today, or anytime at 502 West Main Street, Arcadia, Wisconsin. No two bodies are the same. Some pets never got that message. But Always Flex Foam did. It protects against different flows for up to zero leaks. And it flexes to fit all bodies for up to zero feel. Feel it yourself with Always Flex Foam. We're done. What about these? Looks right. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty absorbs spills like a sponge and is two times more absorbent so you can use less. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Come into Comfort during the International Furniture Fjords Sales Event. Get $200 off all Fjords chairs in stock and special orders. The Tri-State's largest Fjords showroom is at International Furniture La Crosse. We have people, you know, in their 70s in our classes right now. Friday on News Now This Morning, we take an up-close look at the Mellow Martial Arts class and find out why it's more than just self-defense. You're not too old to do what you love. Trust the First Horn weather team to keep you safe, and even better, you can take us with you. Expect more with hourly temps and conditions, video forecast, interactive radar, and your choice of notifications. We're there when you need us. Home furniture. There's no place like home. Welcome back. It's 6.52. Time for your morning news now. In La Crosse, voters cast their ballots to decide who would get three open school board seats. Originally, only two candidates were running, but in the last few months, seven write-in candidates jumped into the race. Votes are still being counted this morning, so no official winners quite yet. At last check this morning, La Crosse Beverage brand manager Tim Alberts pulled in close to 30% of the vote. 18-year-old Central High School student Adam Manka winning just under 22%. Nearly half of the votes went to those write-in candidates, but the individual tallies are still unknown, so it's impossible right now to know who the winners are. Election workers counted the write-in votes, and now the district will make those results official. Those tally sheets are produced to the school district, and at the school district um, canvas, uh, which is a few days after election day, they will declare the winner. The school board canvas is set for next Tuesday, April 9th. That is when La Crosse residents and the candidates themselves will know who the winners will be. Chippewa Falls is one of 91 school districts with a referendum on a spring ballot. It's asking voters for a $7.5 million three-year referendum to keep up with expenses. Last night, voters approved that referendum with 53% voting in favor and 47% voting against it. That's millions of dollars, and so I think everyone should uh, vote according to their conscience. Living within your means is one thing that a lot of people have to do. I'm not uh, all that uh, educated or informed about uh, Chippewa Falls High School and, you know, and, and the district. So, uh, but uh, I, you know, I just encourage everyone to vote the conscience on that. The approval means district voters will see a $5 yearly increase on their property taxes. That's for every $100,000 of property value. 
And voters in Vernon and Crawford counties decided against a $4.8 million referendum to maintain staff and programs for the DeSoto Area School District. Uh, voters were likely weary of the cost of the proposal, which would have meant 225 yearly, 225 yearly dollar increase for every $100,000 of property value. The district also had three seats open for its board. Two of them have candidates running unopposed, with Mark Stevermer and Ryan Venner winning those elections. Well, it's another wintry start to the day. We have snow showers continuing. Roads mainly wet in downtown La Crosse, a little bit of slush in spots as well. Uh, road condition reports showing at least partially covered roads uh, in across most areas, the exception far north and west where the impacts of this storm have been a little bit lower. But still some winter weather alerts through midday today. Maybe another inch or two of snow in spots. Very windy conditions as well. Watch for slick roads, reduce visibility. Speaking of the wind, a wind advisory for all areas through 10 o'clock tonight. North to northwest winds 15 to 30, gusting to 45 miles per hour. So uh, two hands on the steering wheel. And again, watch for those slick spots as well. So snow showers continue to pivot counterclockwise around a stalled out area of low pressure on Lake Michigan. Current temps in the low to mid 30s, winds gusting 25 to almost 40 miles per hour in many spots, and that's pushing wind chills into the teens and 20s. So cloudy, windy, and cold today with periods of snow showers. Highs in the cross only around 37. Not quite as cold tomorrow, but still breezy 44. Maybe some flurries or sprinkles lingering. 50 on Friday, 54 on Saturday. Dry those two days. A little hiccup on Sunday. Cooler with a chance of rain showers. 49 for the high and then milder heading into next week. Slight chance of showers. Uh, low end rain chances on Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday and Thursday, uh, but 60 on Monday, 62 on Tuesday, a little better chance of showers around Wednesday with a high of 62 degrees. So at least some uh, milder temperatures to look forward to. Can't wait for those 60s, Bill. Thank you. And a reminder for you, for the latest on school closings and other delays, make sure to head to our website, news8000.com. Thank you for starting your morning with us on News 8 Now this morning. Take it slow out there this morning. Roads are still a little slushy, and we will see you back here at noon.